Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Simon. Here we do inspiration, we do motivation, we encourage each other, we strengthen each other, we, we, we talk to each other. So if you're new and that is something that you're into, cross the subscribing, click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, you'll be notified every single time when you post. And today, it's a special day for me. It's my birthday. It's the 5th of April and it's my birthday. So I was asking for what, what, what can I do on such a day and, and a friend shared, you can either give, do a prank or something like that and um, I found it appropriate to celebrate my day with a giving. Remember it's not about the, the, the size of the gift, it's not about the intensity in the gift ladies and gentlemen, it's about the heart of the giver. So I and my brother on this day we decided to go for blood donation at Nakafero without wasting any time. Let me take it. So welcome to Kampala city, it's the capital city of Uganda and it's a city full of hardworking people, it's a city full of um, enthusiastic people, it's a city that is still growing. The, the blue building that you're seeing right there, it's the NSSF building. Yes, Kampala is a very nice city, it is growing, full of hardworking people, yes, full of friendly people, loving people. Yeah, so when we arrive, the first thing you're told to do, you're given that card. That card, it's the donor's registration card. So you're supposed to put in the details as you see. Unique donor's number, national ID, contact, what occupies you, the sex. Are you a regular donor? Are you sick? Are you feeling okay? All that, you put it under there. You put it on that card. Yeah, so I filled it like I always do every single day. And the small thing that you're seeing, the small card you're seeing there, it's my, my, my donor's card. A donor, a donor, a regular donor is given a card. Yeah. And that card is basically to monitor their, their, their donations, like the number of times you've donated, when you're supposed to come back to donate, and all that. Yeah, so as we're walking, this intrigued me, I had to record it. Um, it's a cheat that says, uh, I think it was an extraction from the newspaper, and it shows the personal traits that your blood group tells about you, the good ones and the bad ones. As you can see there, we have O, A, B, A, B, and obviously I'm F. Uh, so guys, Steve is a little bit camera shy. Yeah, so after filling the card, uh, you you call into the office and then yeah, that lady right there, she's a good lady, very nice doctor. Um, she, she's well versed with people. She's called Annette. Annette, kudos to you. Thank you so much for being a, a good person. Yeah, so let's go back. You, you're supposed to measure your weight. There's a specific weight that you cannot, when you're below it, you cannot donate. That's 50 kilograms. Then after you've weighed yourself, you're supposed to be measured the blood pressure, HBP. If it's very high, you're not supposed to donate. If it's very low, still you're not supposed to donate. It has to be normal. And as you see, I was talking with Steve, so uh, his blood pressure turned out to be very high. As you can see, 150 to 83. So we had to repeat it when he's calm, not talking. Whenever that, that, that's why um, the first things you need to do, you need to be calm. When you're going to donate blood, you need to be calm. And boom, you see that? Much more lower than the first one, right? Because as we were talking, you're supposed to be calm, quiet, and peaceable. And yet, it's well? No, I don't. Small prick? Yes. Not painful? Small little prick? Small little prick, not painful. That is simply for checking your iron content. Hmm. 
So for the men, if the iron content is below 13.5, you cannot donate. And for the women, it's 12. <laughs> if it's below 12, you cannot donate. So this is a hemocule. Beautiful. 15.0. So as you can see, 15.0, it's a very good hemocule. It's a very good, it's a very good percentage. Yeah? It's a very good mark. So Steve was happy. I was able to get him to say something. Let's have what he had to say. Uh, probably you come here to donate blood for my tenth time. Uh, it is advisable to donate blood because it saves lives. Well, today I'm very happy because I beat up my brother when it comes to iron. Yes. It is because I've been eating well. Eat chicken, liver, uh, meat, goat meat. They are so good for your health and uh, they increase on the level of iron you have. Be capable of donating blood. So literally, what 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 are the what are the requirements that you're supposed to be having as a blood donor? What what is? Mm. You have to keep yourself safe. HIV negative. That's one. Mm -hmm. Stress free and eat well. Eat well. Eat what? Proteins. Proteins. Rich in iron. Like what? Like uh, meat. I've already mentioned them. The ones that eat. Liver. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Chicken. Uh -huh. uh, that's a good meat. Uh -huh. Some things like uh, fish. But some people prefer silver fish. It is also good to eat the big fish. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So when you're coming to donate blood, what, what, uh, how are you supposed to prepare? What is the preparation that you're supposed to go through as a blood donor? Uh, you should keep yourself calm. Uh -huh. Not start a hard process. Uh -huh. So I'm going to the bed. Yeah, just a quick one. As you can see, you told to lie on the bed. Remember, you're supposed to be as relaxed as possible. Within, within like five minutes, I was done. It's that simple. Those are only 450 meals that they can save three people.
Ladies and gentlemen, literally that's all it takes. It doesn't take hours. It only takes 15 minutes to save a life. 60% of the people are eligible to donate here in Uganda, but it's absurd to find out that only 3% of the people do donate. And I beseech you, say if I beseech you, please kindly, I beseech you, donate blood, save a life. Man, you're going to be a hero, you're going to be a heroine for someone. It doesn't take hours, it doesn't take days. All it takes is your courage. It's just a little needle prick that ain't going to take your life, man. Only it takes 15 minutes or even less to save a life. God bless you. It's been this simple and I'll catch you in the next one. A live stream is going to come very soon. I'm going to invite someone else who's going to come and donate. Nakasero, Nakasero Blood Bank is where we donate from. Uh, it's a blessing to be able to share the gift of life with the rest of the people, those people that are in need, the cancer patients, the old patients that need blood, the anemic people, the leukemiatic people. Does it even exist? But yeah, literally, that's it. God bless you, and I'll catch you in the next one. If you're new to my channel, click subscribe, turn on the notification bell, join our family. Man, if you believe what you believe, that is to discover true selves and inspire others to do the things that inspire them. God bless you, and I'll catch you in the next one. It's as simple as that.